Hey guys, uh, hope you are doing well. Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. And in today's video, we're gonna be walking you through how to hang a picture on the wall. Now, this may seem like a very simple thing, but I uh, think back to when Logan and I got married and we were newlyweds. We had just gotten pictures of our honeymoon printed out and we were gonna hang them up in our first apartment. And you know, I get the level, I get hammer nails. And I ask him very casually where the painter's tape was. And he looked at me very confused, like why in the world does she need painter's tape to hang a picture up on the wall? And little did I know that he didn't know this little hack, which I kind of just assumed everybody did it because I've always hung uh, a picture on the wall using painter's tape as my guide. And so that is the f one of the first lessons we learned in marriage that we both had very different ways about going uh, at a simple thing like hanging a picture on a wall. So I don't want you guys to miss out on this very simple hack. Uh, it's definitely going to save you from putting a bunch of nails up on uh, the wall and trying to get the picture hung just straight. So if you've never seen this hack before, it's definitely been going around the internet for many, many years. I've been doing it forever, but I wanted to break it all down for you guys. I have a blog post that I've had on the blog for several years, but it didn't have video to go along with it. So on one of our most recent woodworking projects, a spice rack that we built, um, I broke it all down. I got videos of everything because we were using the painter's tape method of hanging the spice rack up in our kitchen. So hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something. And then let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this hack before or if you've ever tried it. I am curious. Um, or if you have any other picture hanging tips for us. All right, enjoy. All right, so this is the wall where we're gonna be putting the um, spice rack up in our kitchen. So you wanna grab your painter's tape and with the sticky side out, you wanna line it up with the keyhole location on the back of whatever you're hanging. Then you wanna make a mark exactly where the keyhole is and then double check that the painter's tape is still lined up, the keyhole location, and then make sure the top edge of the painter's tape is lined up with the top of the keyhole. And then you can pull your piece up to the wall, have one person stand back to kind of give you a little direction on exactly where to put it on the wall. But then you can kind of just call out to the left, to the right, and have the other person hold it into place. And then once you get the location right, you can have them stick it up on the wall. Remember the sticky side of that painter's tape is facing out. And then you'll just pull back the item and the painter's tape will stay on the wall. So then what you wanna do to make sure everything's nice and level is take a level and just line it up with the painter's tape and adjust the level as needed to make sure that um, the entire edge of the painter's tape is nice and level. And then on the exact location of where you marked those keyhole spots on the tape, you wanna drill your holes for either, if you're putting drywall anchors in, you're gonna need to make a hole for the anchors or if you're just using a nail, you'll use the hammer and nails exactly on that place. Then you can simply take the painter's tape off and the nails or the screws will stay into place exactly where they're supposed to. And then, you know, be sure to clean up as you go because it'll make some drywall dust there if you're using screws. Then you can grab your item that you're hanging up on the wall and simply hang it on the screws or nails and everything will be nice and level this method works every time for us. It definitely saves us so much time nailing a bunch of holes in the wall, checking if it's level, or trying to hold the item up on the wall and uh, make sure it's level all at the same time. Um, so love this method. If you guys have any other picture hanging tips, definitely let us know in the comments. Uh, if you wanna see more about how to build this spice rack, I'll be sure to link the video right here. Um, and then we also have another video tutorial on how to make that uh, DIY trash can that's below it as well. So those are two word working projects that we have featured over on different YouTube videos that you guys can check out. And both of those also have free woodworking plans that you can download if you're interested in building either of those. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's a really simple thing today, um, but sometimes we all just need a little simple in our lives. So if you've never seen that hack before, please let me know the next time you try it and let me know if you have any questions about it. I'm happy to answer any other questions about picture hanging uh, that you have. And then just so you know, we don't always use that picture hanging hack if we're hanging pictures in our house. 99% of the things hung in our house are actually with a command picture hanging strip. 
So we try to avoid, even though we own our home, we try to avoid making holes in the wall that just need to be patched up later. Um, so if, if a picture hanging strip can work for it and they can work for most things, uh, I definitely lean in that direction. Um, so I'll be sure to put a link to those in the video description. If you've never used them, they're amazing. They, we even have them hanging uh, or holding the mirrors in our kids' bathroom because the mirrors are pretty lightweight and they've been there for four years now, haven't budged at all. So you'd be surprised how much you can actually get hung with just those uh, Velcro picture hanging strips from command. Um, but anytime we do need hammer nails, I always use this method and it works every time like a charm. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have questions, let me know in the comments and then we'll be here back next week uh, with another DIY or renovation uh, video. Let me know if you have anything that you guys want to see in a future video. We're all ears. And then while you're here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. You can push our uh, picture here to push subscribe and then be sure you turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next video. All right, have a great rest of your day changer if you've never seen that method of hanging a picture hang uh the